We're live from XS Studios. Your spotlight shines. The boys from Broad and Narrow are hanging out here with us. Uh, Nate and Brent are here. Welcome, gentlemen. How's it going, man? Thanks for having us. Made the trek from Cambridge. Roads were good and not too shabby today. No complaints. Brent's driving. Only hazard. <laughs> really, but yeah, no, it was okay. No floods? <laughs> nothing like that? No. Here's the interesting story. We know we're Canadian, and we had a big hockey game today, and I laughed when I opened up an email on my phone this morning. Knowing these guys were coming to studio, it was, hey, uh, Jay, we don't really want to miss the hockey game. So at first I'm thinking, they're canceling to watch the hockey game. And I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. And the follow-up was, is there a bar or a restaurant nearby where we can watch that game before sliding over? So they spent some time across the street with Mark Childs and the crew at the Black Goose. Pretty good hockey game. Yeah, Great. yeah, one nothing, big win. You guys sure. interested in coming back Sunday morning around 7 a.m.? Are we the good, good luck? Good luck, maybe. Going? I'm yeah. down for trying it. Yeah. Might work out. Whatever it takes. <laughs> All right, from Cambridge, they've made the trek here. We're going to spin a couple tunes here, including a police cover and an original, too. Looking forward to this. Uh, tell us where, where this thing began. Uh, you two are buddies at Sounds like you use one another for music uh, benefits, I'll say. So you're, you're friends with benefits in some, some <laughs> music variety. Music benefits, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I guess our humble beginning was like a few years ago, maybe 2012. Um, we, well, I guess before that, we've been bands. Whether we're, I was playing guitar, he, he was drums or guitar. Like We kind of went through different um, seasons of d- different bands or different styles, and we kind of finally got to the point where... Um, after bands being broke up, we kind of just got down to basics and just started writing acoustically. And we decided we needed yeah. each other. Brent has <laughs> things I don't have, and I have things he doesn't have. And uh, I think that's like I mean, it's, it a sentence. It sounds cheesy, but musically, that's kind of how it works with us in a way. Nice. Broad and narrow, the boys are here. Uh, Brent and Nate, uh, what's in the name? I always like to ask that. Sometimes there's a story. Normally, there's absolutely no story. So what there's, is the story? There's a bit of a story. Um, the name was Brent's idea, um, and it, it came He really about, is the smart one, isn't he? He is, yeah. The good-looking one, too. He's got everything. I don't know. Um, but the name is actually taken from a passage in the Bible, um, which talks about how you kind of have two choices in life, um, sort of the broad road or the narrow road. Um, one leads to good things, one leads to not so good. Um, but it's also funny because Brent, that was sort of our original thought process. And then we thought of the name and then it's like broad, Brent, narrow, Nate. So it kind of just, it just worked. <laughs> it kind of, kind of confirmed yeah. our band name to be like, yeah, that's the name for us for sure. We just went a whole lot deeper than I, I thought we were going to Yeah, go. yeah. <laughs> in the last 20 minutes, we've been hanging out here in studio. I, I do love the we're story though. about Little Caesars. And stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the pizza, by the way, guys. Maybe they're the good luck charm too. Who knows? Uh, we're talking about the process as well. And you guys talk about, you know, this band, that band and coming together. It seems from, from what I see about you guys, what you, you've done together almost has kind of come by surprise, kind of caught you a little bit off guard. Didn't expect it to, to work as well as quick as it did, maybe? Yeah, like we just started, like, by chance, just um, just jamming out one riff I had. Then it just became for us making one song. Then one song led into a few songs, and we just felt like we gelled together. So we kept kept writing, and it just really has flown into, like, a full-length album, and we, we're, we're continuing writing. Like, the album, album is called We Saw This Coming. Uh, for those who, who may not have heard you guys yet or are just hearing some tidbits here on 99.1, what can they expect from this album? Can you sum yourself up? I know it's difficult because you cross some genres, maybe. We do, yeah, and our, and our album has a lot of ups and a lot of downs, um, but the way we kind of look, of, look at our songwriting is uh, telling a story, right? And, and whether that's um, through, through the lyrics or through the music, or just how we carry ourselves, whatever it is, we, we tell a story, right? We are who we are, and, and we bring that to people. And so um, the album, you know, it has some harder stuff. Um, one of the songs we're going to play acoustically is pretty upbeat. Uh, and then there's some more mellow stuff that we've written about some heartbreak and some tragedy in our own lives. So um, it's a good mix, but we, we really like the record, and uh, we feel that it um, it can hopefully touch people um, in a special way. Brent and Nate of Broad and Narrow from Cambridge on the XS local spotlight here today. We talked off the air. I always like to ask the question, you know, are you guys playing live a lot? You guys threw me back a response, to be honest, I've never heard. And I find this extremely cool, and I totally mean this. Tell the folks what you told me about a venue you guys uh, seem to, to regularly play and, and I'm sure have learned to really appreciate. Um, we play at the Bridges, which is a home- homeless shelter in Cambridge. Um, We've been playing there for a couple of years. A couple now. Of years now. Yeah. It's kind of a, a unique place for us to really give back to the community. We really feel like we're um, kind of meeting a need, I guess. It's kind of a weird 
place for a musician to go in, but we're received very well there and they love having us back. I'm sure as musicians and songwriters too, I mean, that's pure reflection in many ways, right? I mean, there's an album probably to be written right there alone. And there's actually some lyrics that I wrote on the record that are based loosely on some of our experiences from the bridges. So it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Again, broad and narrow, uh, Nate and Brent are here with us. Details on our website, cksfm.com. You've got links to check out their material, including uh, the tunes on that album. We saw this coming. Tell us about what we're going to play here today, boys. Oh, we got a couple tunes. Um, we're going to, you alluded to, we're going to play a cover um, that we've never actually played live before. So hopefully that goes well. Um, we'll leave that one for a surprise. But the first song we're going to play is That Ain't Love, which is the first track on our record. All right, Brent and Nate, broad and narrow on 99.1. We're live right after this. Access community, access music. Put them together and you get the CKXS local spotlight on the new 99.1 CKXS. Hanging out in studio today with Brent and Nate of Broad and Narrow. We are live on 99.1 CKXS. This is a uh, is the first song on our album. It's called That Ain't Love. days just thinking about who I know and where I've been. I've been wishing for days that you would leave me and now I'm tired of lies in this whole scene. cut from that album we saw this coming broad and narrow on 99.1 ckxs nate and brent are in the house they're sticking around they've got another track to play this one's a cover nate tell us about this track and why you're choosing to play this one here today <laughs> this one was uh brent kind of brought this one to me and i was like what 
but uh, I don't know. We kind of we kind of took a couple listens to it, and uh, we figured we could do some fun stuff with it. And it's by a, a little known British band uh, called The Police. This is how it goes. The subject of schoolgirl fantasy She wants him so badly Knows what she wants to be Inside her there's longing This girl's an open pit Bookmarking, she's so close now This girl is half his age don't stand so, don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Don't stand so, don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Jealous, you know how bad girls get. Sometimes it's not so easy to be the teacher's pet. Temptation, frustration, so bad it makes him cry. Wet bus stop, she's waiting, his car is moving. Don't stand. classroom to her they try and try strong words in the staff room the accusations fly it's no use he sees her he starts to shake and cry just like the Don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Don't stand so, don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Don't stand so, don't stand so. Great time here hanging out with uh, Brent and Nate Broad and Nero. Uh, thanks for coming in here today, guys. Great job. Uh, best of luck. You guys mentioned a key free word earlier, too. Free. Don't hear that one too often. Free. Yeah, our album's up online on Bandcamp, uh, SoundCloud, for free. So feel free to search us Broad and Narrow. All right. Find the link at ckxsfm.com. Enjoy the trip back home. And again, thanks 7 a.m. I expect to see you guys right. Sunday <laughs> thanks morning. Thanks for having us. Right. Thank you. Cheers, boys. <laughs>